Hey guys, all right, this is our Saxon phonics lesson. Everyone should have this first worksheet in their homework folder, um, along with other of the other worksheets from Saxon. This is worksheet number one, long and short vowels. So did you know our alphabet has 26 letters? Do you know what two types of letters are? What the two types of letters are? The two types of letters in our alphabet are vowels and consonants. Every letter doesn't just make one sound. There are 26 letters. However, we have at least 40 sounds in our language and there are over 100 ways to spell those sounds. On most days, we will have a worksheet after our lesson. This will give us a chance to practice what we have been learning for Saxon. Can anyone name the vowels? That's right. The vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Let's see if you can write them. All right, so on your worksheet, I want you to write A, E, I, O, and U in both capital and lowercase letters on lines one through 10, okay? So I'm gonna start with my capital letters, A, E, I, O, U. And then my lowercase letters, A, E, and you can do this in any order you want, um, I, O, U. Okay? So you should have A, E, I, O, and U, capital and lowercase on lines one through 10. Now look at the box at the top of your page. Okay, we have some pictures in this box. Each picture stands for a short vowel sound. Write the vowel you think each picture stands for on the line beneath the picture. So we got this crazy looking animal. Can anybody tell me what kind of animal this is? That's right, octopus. So the, sound, the short vowel that says ah is O. This is called a umbrella. The short vowel for a uh is U. This is an apple. The short vowel sound, the letter that makes the short vowel sound for apple is a. a. However, this isn't letting me write on here. But for this one, you would write A underneath apple. The short vowel sound, this animal is Elephant makes the e eh sound. So you would put E on elephant. Let's see. Text box. E for elephant. Hmm. Go back up here. For apple is A. And for 
the last picture is for inch, that's a ruler. The letter that makes the I sound is I. All right. When a vowel has a short sound, we put a mark over the top of it. This mark looks like a smile because, or but it is called a grieve. So that looks like this. I have breathes over my letters, okay? A, e, i, a, a. A breathe tells me that the letter is short. We sometimes put marks over letters to help us remember what sounds they make. This is called coding, so we'll be coding letters. Code each vowel with a brief since we are talking about the short vowel. So for each vowel that we did here in the, in the top box, go ahead and put a brief over each one of these vowels. When a vowel has a long, okay, look at the box at the bottom of the page. Each picture stands for a long vowel sound. So now the box is down here. The picture stands for the long vowel sound. Write the vowel you think each picture stands for on the line beneath the picture. So this first animal is called a unicorn. The letter that sounds like U is U. This picture is called an acorn. The letter, the long sound for A is A. These are icicles. The letter that sounds like I is I. These are equal. Both of these are the same, so they're equal. Oh, it's not what I wanted. an E, and then this picture is overalls. So we will put an O for overalls. Okay. When a vowel has a long sound, we put a straight line over it. This mark is called a macron. So when the vowel is long, we just simply put a line over the vowel, just like this, okay? So that tells us that the letter is going to have a long vowel sound. One thing, is to, one thing to remember is that the long sound of any vowel is simply the vowel's name. For example, the long sound of the vowel A is A, the long sound of the vowel E is E, and the long sound of the vowel O is O. However, the vowel U is somewhat unusual because it can make a U sound like its name, but it can also make an O sound like in the name Luke. L-U-K-E. O, it makes that O sound. Just remember to try the U sound first, and if the word doesn't sound right, Try the ooh sound, OK? 
Okay, so always try the U sound first. And if it doesn't sound like, if I would have said Luke, Luke, you can't even say Luke's name without saying the OO. So try the first sound first. And then if it doesn't sound right, try the OO. All right, now we're going to go to We're not going to do this side, 11 through 20, okay? We're going to go to the card deck. Let's see. And here they are. Okay, here's my vowels. I have A. Repeat after me. A, E, I, O, you okay so every time i point to you you say the word you say what i say you echo all right now this little breathe is way down here and, and he should be up here above the a but it it kind of got mixed up when i put it on the slide okay so i'm not sure how to make him go up here but anyways repeat after me Apple, ah. Acorn, a. Elephant, eh. And if you notice, the little breathe and the maker in are not above the E or the A, and that's okay. Um, it just got mixed up when I put it in the PowerPoint. Equal, E. Inch, I. Oh, what happened to the I here? I. I went way down here. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. Icicle, I. Okay. Well, I'll fix these later. Octopus, ah. Overalls, o. Umbrella, a. Uh. Unicorn, u. Okay, here's our sight words, okay? The same ones we went through before. Are. Come. Do. Eight. Four, now this is the number four, from, have, into, whoops, I went too fast, into, love, of, one, said, some, the, they, to, today, together, tomorrow, two, this is the number two, oops, was, what, where, who, you, and that's it. That's our last sight word card for this lesson, okay? And I'll post these on Google Classroom along with the Saxon lesson for today. All right, on the back of the worksheet is, whoops,
On the back of the worksheet are some high frequency words. High frequency words are also sight words. These are words that we've done today a couple of times. So I want you to be able to read and spell these words um, on your own. Okay, and there's a short parent letter on the on the bottom that tells the parents like what what they should be looking for. All right, and I that is done. That is all for the Saxon lesson today. All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you.